Hello, uh, welcome to another episode of In the Art Lab. We uh, focused in Photography 1 on the history of photography. Not always the most exciting topic to talk about, but I really have tried in years past to add to it and make it more interesting and more fun and do different activities so that the students learn a little bit about the history of photography, um, but also have a little bit of fun doing it as well. So this year I decided to plan a breakout escape room sort of thing and I was inspired by um, the movie Kate and Leopold from the early 2000s. It has Meg Ryan and Leif Schreiber in it, I think, along with Hugh Jackman. Uh, I had had it when I was a kid and it was on VHS. If that is telling my age a little bit. Uh, it's a romantic comedy. But at any rate, uh, they go back to 1876 uh, in time travel and there's a lot of cameras in it. And I was like, oh, this could be a really great start. Um, to get uh, the kind of this escape room started and so we um, did we watched part of the movie kind of got it set it up and totally veered off what the movie does but the whole point was to get Stuart home so he went back to 1876 ran into Hugh Jackman and his wormhole that got him to 1876 closed and the only way he could get back to the year 2019 was to learn a bit about different um, major advancements and in technology for photography. So we covered, um, you know, we, we talked about Samuel Morse, which was before 1876 um, with the daguerreotype. And then we talked about um, George Eastman and the Dry Plate Company and Frank Brownell making the brownie and selling the rights to uh, George Eastman. And then we talked about um, Edwin H. Land uh, creating the first, he created Polaroid, um, the Land camera, which eventually came to Polaroid. And then in 1963, um, he created the first color film for Polaroid. Um, and then we talked about Photoshop in 1990 uh, with the Knoll brothers. And then in 2000, we talked about the first camera phone. In 2004, we talked about Kodak ceasing production of um, the film camera or creating film. So, no, the film camera. I apologize. Uh, and so it was a lot of fun. They had to do different activities, different puzzles, putting things together. Oh, we talked about Dorothea Lange in the Dust Bowl with the Farm, uh, the farm Security Administration. Sorry, I, I missed that one. Um, it's a lot of fun. You should check out some of the things I have on my blog for it, mhssummerlot.blogspot.com. Uh, it, it, was a, it was tons of fun. And then um, each student kind of went through this Prezi I had made uh, a few years back. Uh, short timeline of photography that dove a little bit deeper than what we did in our breakout. Uh, and then they kind of got together with their team. So the team that they used for their breakout uh, was their team for this project. And they each dove into a specific topic throughout the history of art. None of them could do the same topic in their group. And they had to kind of explain what it was, when it happened, what were um, the people involved, uh, how did this advancement affect future technology and photography? And then also I wanted them to look at what was happening in the world at that point in time. Because like Dorothea Lange was making beautiful emotional pieces of art, but it was because um, of the Dust Bowl happening and, and the Farm Security Administration, you know, took her in there and she was able to capture those things so that people that weren't living through that could see what was happening, just like Matthew Brady in the Civil War uh, with his team. So I wanted them to think about how photography has an impact on our world and how the world can have an impact on photography. And then they had to include some pictures. So um, from there, they all did that. They kind of helped each other out, reviewed each other's projects, and then we were able to go into our library which has these cutouts and the kids could use their Chromebook and we screencasted them talking about their project on top of the Google Slides, something that they had never done before and I had never really taught it in class. And it was really a great opportunity for us all to learn something new um, and try something new. Because I do screencasting for like stuff like this, but I've never done it with the students and had them do it. Uh, and it was, it was really a great experience. We were able to get the computers hooked up into the TVs and they were projected on the big screen and they were trying something new and they didn't have to present in front of the whole class. And it was really great. And then uh, the next day, you know, we used Loom to do it, which is a Google add-on. 
and they had to turn in a Google form with their web address to it and they named their team because this is going to be their team for gamifying our classroom the rest of the semester. And uh, the next day they looked at each other's uh, videos and kind of I had a, a sheet. Um, you can find it on my blog too. And uh, they had to review each other groups, uh, how they did based on the expectations they were supposed to have. Um, and then we went through and I think I even have some. Here's what they look like. So it was a group evaluation. I made it in Google Slides because I love Google Slides. Um, and then they went through and peer evaluated. So the first box they had to talk about themselves and grade themselves. And then each of the other ones were based on what uh, they thought their, the people in the group did. Uh, it was really a great project and it was a lot of fun, something different to do. And then at the end, I went through each student and kind of I averaged the uh, evaluation from their peers. I had like an Excel sheet that I did some averaging on uh, what they gave themselves and then the group evaluation. And then I totaled that up and divided it by five. So it was a small proportion. And then I went through and graded each of their slides. So that was out of 30 and the other up there was out of nine. Um, so the maximum points was 39 points and uh, I put it down there. And that was, is what ended up being their grade for it. It was a lot of work for me, um, but I really feel like they got something out of it. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, at the end of the project, we had like a quick little quiz. I didn't want to do anything too much because we had spent so much time on it. Um, but I really wanted them to know a few things. So we did a quick little quiz, and then the next day we did cyanotypes in class. And if you've never done them, check them out on my blog. Uh, basically, we had um, a photosensitive material put on fabric. Um, the students brought in leaves, or they drew different things, and we put it on this film and, and put the fabric underneath. Went out into the sun for 10, 15 minutes, came back in, or we went back out, washed them in water, came back in, and you have this blue cyanotype, which is one of the first forms of photography. So. I'm hoping that all the different experiences we have from the escape room, the breakout, and then working with your group or your team, and then um, doing the cyanotype was something that hopefully a few things uh, last in their minds about it. it. Hopefully, you know, we don't always remember what we taught the test, but hopefully the experiences um, created some memories that they'll remember about this class because photography impacts us all every days of our lives. Um, and we, and if you compare it to other forms of art, photography is the newest and the most has happened in such a short amount of time due to technology. So it's really incredible to see how far we've come, you know, and it was it was uh, invented by scientists. And I really geek out on this stuff because I'm so passionate about it. But it was really neat to get to share that with the students and I hope that they enjoyed it as well. I included their group projects on this video. So please, if you want to listen to high school students talk about their research and what they did, feel free to continue to watch. But I appreciate you sticking around and listening to me and what we do in here because I have a ton of fun teaching photography and I had a lot of fun with this project. A little bit more time than what I normally spend on the History of Photography project, but I think it was really well worth it. So enjoy the rest of the videos and thank you again for listening.
Okay. Louis Dager created images on silver-plated copper coated with silver iodine and developed with warm mercury. This was called the Dager type. Dager was awarded a state pension by the French government in exchange for publication of methods and the rights by other French citizens to use the Dager type process. This was in 1837. Louis Dager was the only one involved. The Dager type process allowed for the first practical process of photography, primarily used for portraits at the time. The first photo is of Louis Dager. The second is the process, and the third is an example. The economic panic of 1837 led to widespread unemployment, economic depression, and devaluing of cotton and paper money, plus bank and financial failures. This could have caused people to start working on photography to possibly employ themselves for a type of income during the time. Photography could have been an outlet for some people as a new hobby, but they that they could turn into a source of income. During 1878, Richard L. Maddox started to mass-produce dry plates commercially. They are coated with a gelatin emulsion of silver bromide makes makes it to where it can be stored until exposure. An impact that photography photography made on the world. Oh my God! An impact that photography made on World War One and World War Two is that. We never would have known what was going on in the concentration camps if they were never photographed and recorded. In 1888, George Eastman created a roll of film. He designed this film for the Kodak camera and to be let out in 1889. This took place in 1889. The people involved were George Eastman and Kodak struggled to find a marketing place so when their market share had been declined, the film was not out much longer, but they would attempt again in the future. When Kodak started filmmaking cameras in 1889, it heavily impacted photography. If they started producing these cameras sooner, we could have more advanced technology now. They ended up having to file for bankruptcy in, in, in Lewis Hine was a school teacher, but he's quit. But he quit his job to work as a photographer, as a photographer for National Child Labor Committee. He photographed children in coal mines, meatpacking houses, textile mills, and canneries. He also documented children working in the streets. Hine often tricked his way into different factories to take pictures that the factory managers did not want the public to see. This took place in 1909, and the people involved were Lewis Hine, the National Child Labor Committee, and the children who were working in the factories. This topic influenced future technology because because people had the technology then to photograph these things. Reformers succeeded because people had the technology to photograph these things. Reformers succeeded in for, forging, forcing legislation at the state level, banning child labor and putting in maximum hours. If the photographs of child labor were never recorded, then child labor would still be a common occurrence. Nobody knew how awful these children were treated until Lewis Hine took pictures and showed the public. Cameras were the reason people realized how horrible the living conditions were for these children. Photography is the reason the government understood how badly we needed child labor laws. The Nikon F was the first single lens reflection camera. It had a 35mm format rangefinder and had wide or centered angle lens. This camera came out in 1936 by Yusuke Komoraka. created this camera. This camera changed photography forever. Now you can just take a picture with a click of a button anywhere and any time. One thing that could have affected photography was the birth of pop culture, including the film The Alamo. This affected photography because photos can now be taken very differently with new point of views. The company took its decisions as digital cameras outsold film cameras in the U.S. for the first time. That is why they ceased the production of film cameras in 2004. Eastman and Kodak and everyone who wanted or used film cameras, the guts, the digital cameras were way more popular now and then, but it would have stopped the film film ones now instead of back then. The only thing that really happened was that citizens started to, 
started to buy just digital cameras and stop buying film cameras. With that, they got so overfilled with film cameras they just stopped making them completely. How am I supposed to The Canon EOS 5D is the first consumer priced full frame digital SLR camera. The camera had features like 24 by 36 millimeter CMOS sensor, three frames per second, and the shutters rated up to 100,000 shots. The camera was listed for $3,000. The camera was produced in 2005. The people who were involved were all the people in the Canon company. The Canon EOS 5D influenced the future technology by having a faster speed with the shutter, allowing to take faster pictures. Camera took three, pr three frames per second and also had a standard body size which showed photographers. It is a comfortable hold with the double grip and it is easier to take the photos. And those are the pictures I chose. Thank you for listening. Uh, this topic is the daguerreotype process. Explanation of the topic, the daguerreotype process was invented by Louis Daguerre in 1837. The process created images on silver-plated copper coated with silver iodide, which is de then developed with warm mercury. The years it took place was 1837. The people involved were Louis Daguerre. Uh, the influence for future technology, the daguerre process influenced the ways that cameras worked. Uh, researcher was Xander Lynch, but he's not here. Uh, describe what was happening either in the U.S. or the world. Photography. One way photography had an impact was in ending child labor in factories. Lewis Hine, a photographer, was helping in child labor by taking photos of the condition these children were working in. Also by Xander Lynch. The subject that I did was Henry Fox Talbot. William Henry Fox Tadwold is the father of the negative positive photographic process as it is today. He was educated at Harrow and Cambridge University. He was deeply interested and knowledgeable in a variety of subjects, going to our biblical astronomy and ancient language. The years his topic took place was in the 1800s and 1877. People involved were William Henry Fox Tadwold. It influenced the way photographs are taken today. Tablock gave the world the negative positive system of photography and perhaps his greatest gift. The vision of photography is placed in the world of art. A positive print can now be made on paper treated with silver chloride, thus Tablock became the creator of the negative positive photography. Describe what was happening either in the U.S. or the world that could have had an impact on photography or photography could have had an impact on that. The invention of the modern-day battery in 1801 could have made photography a little easier when having to take photos. Like the digital camera today, it uses batteries, and that event possibly could have led to the creation of digital cameras and using batteries for them. Uh, my topic was Matthew Brady's Civil War Photography. The explanation is Matthew Brady and his staff covered the American Civil War, exposing 7,000 negatives. 
Brady actually did not take any of the photos. It was his staff that did a handful of the work since Brady was just a manager. Brady brought the reality of what war looked like to people's eyes. He employed Alexander Gardner, James Gardner, Timothy O'Sullivan, William P. Well, George Bernard, Thomas Roche, and 17 other men, each of whom was giving a traveling darkroom to go out and photograph scenes of the Civil War. It took place between 1861 and 1865. Matthew Brady and his staff were involved, and an influence for future technology was for the future. It helped society be aware of the troubling times, along with capture the ancestors of today's generation and the tragedy of war itself. Photography had an impact on the world because it shared the unknown for, to society. For instance, the Civil War was captured and able to be shared to future generations showing the people what happened or was happening on the battlefield at that time. So once Matthew Brady got the approval and sent some of his crew to capture it in a, a historic event, it has impacted the world in an amazing way since, giving society the knowledge of what occurred on the battlefield and gave people outside or something to connect with their loved ones over. This topic is the first colored commercial film, the Lumiere Brothers started the first colored film in the French newspaper. The way that it, the color was made is it had autochrome plates that were covered in microscopic green, red, and blue colored potato starch grains. The photo was taken, light passes through the colored filters of the photographic emulsion. Light passing through these colored starch grains combined to create a full colored image of the original subject. It took place in 1907, people involved were Augustus and Louise Lumiere. Years later, the brothers had a movie screening in Paris. Also, it brought attention to everyone to start using colored film and photos. The Civil War had an impact on the photography. Matthew Brady was an American photographer who took pictures of Civil War. He took many pictures during the war. He took pictures of painful landscapes, dead soldiers, death toll, war prophets. My topic is the first color instant film in 1963. Uh, explanation of the topic, the invention of the first color film was developed by Edwin H. Land and Polaroid. The film was the only type of colored film that would develop itself and not need a dark room to develop or extra human work. Uh, it took place in the year 1963 and the people involved were Edwin H. Land and Polaroid Corporation. Uh, and in, the topic influenced for future technology because it would help people provide it would help provide a way for people to add color to the images without having to develop their own film. It would also make photography much easier, allowing everyday people to use it. Describe what was happening either in the U.S. or the world. In the year, in the year 1963, there are many instances where photography played a huge role. It captures the segregation of African Americans, JFK, Martin Luther King Jr., and many other important parts of U.S. photography. <coughs> Photography has allowed us to capture these moments in history and to see the truth and what has told and what was told to the public and to inform people what is actually happening. The next topic was, was the release of Photoshop. It was created by John Knoll and Thomas Knoll, released in 1990. Uh, Glenn Knoll, who was, who was John and Thomas's father, was a professor at a local college who was interested in photography and computers. He had an amplitude plus at work that he was able to take home and one day Thomas wrote a small subroutine that would let him turn monochromatic images into grayscale on the Apple II Plus. While, while Thomas was studying computers, his brother John was working on special effects for George Lucas. The two began to work on Photoshop together with Thomas's computer skills and John's design skills and turned it into what we know today. And Photoshop has changed the way that we use digital photography. In the world in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope was sent into orbit on April 25th. Later that year, on May 20th, it sent its first photographs from space. This was big for photography because it, it meant we don't just have to take photos on Earth, we can take them from slash of space. The Photo CD is a system designed by Kodak for digitalizing and saving photos onto a CD. Launched in 1991, the discs were designed to hold nearly 100 high quality in images, scan prints and slides using special edit encoding. In the years the topic it took place was 1992. The people involved were George Eastman, 
and using the photo CD, you can save your photos with Apple and Windows technology. What was happening in the world is that there was a new president, Olympic Games, and the new Windows 3.1. People probably saved their photos that they took at the Olympic Games and put it on a Windows computer. They probably used the photo CD since it could save 100 high quality images.
who takes pictures of the Civil War. Matthew Brady and staff takes pictures of the Civil War, hoping to make money from the government buying the pictures. The government doesn't end up buying the pictures, and Brady goes broke. The year that took place was 1861 to 1865. It involved Matthew Brady and his staff. The topic was an influence for future events because if it weren't for Brady taking pictures of the war, then it wouldn't have inspired future photographers to take pictures of future events such as the Dust Bowl. What was happening in the world was a civil war. It had an impact on the world by if it wasn't going on, then Matthew Brady couldn't have taken photos of it and wouldn't have inspired other photographers to take photos of other wars. If no one took any photos of what was going on, then no one on the outside of those wars would know what was going on. Manufactured by the Luminary Brothers in France, they were the ones to make the first colored film ever. The colored film was invented in the year 1895 at the Grand Café in Paris. The film was made by Louis and August Lumet, two brothers from France. The topic influenced the pictures we have today because without the invention, we might never have had colored pictures. I think it affected today's world because if no one would have thought about it or created it, then we wouldn't have had any color in our pictures. Everything would be black and white like it used to be. The brownie box looked like a small box with two buttons on the top, a small metal rod to twist, and a lever to take the photo. Three holes in the front for a light to come in, and one hole in the back for the person's eye. It took a, a micro lens. The film roll was two and one fourth inch, inch square. It was leatherette covered cardboard. It was made in Ros Roster, New York. It was one dollar equivalent to thirty dollars in two thousand eighteen. The Kodak brownie, the Kodak brownie box was invented in nineteen hundred. The person who invented it was Frank A. Brownell. <clears throat> it changed cameras because they made a brownie box, Mark II and Mark III. The Kodak Kodak claimed in the advertisement the brownie box was so simple that it could easily be operated by any boy or girl. Though simple enough for a child to use, there was a 44-page instructional booklet that accommodated every brownie box. It was marketed to children because it was simple to learn. It was cheap, about $33 in today's money. It was a small box that anyone could learn. Lewis Hinn was, a, was hired by the U.S. National Child Labor Committee to fo for, photograph children working mills. He was hired in 1907, working like, with Florence Kelly and Lillian D. Wild. Um, and this influenced like t future technology by if he hadn't stopped parent like people from working their children to death, we wouldn't have some of the things we have today. What was going on in the world was child slavery. F photograph impacted it because if because it helped put an end to the child labors. If we helped put a it helped put children child labor laws and made children get an education. The Fiji Film was founded by the Japanese Multinational Photography and Imaging Group in 1934. The year it took place was 1934. People involved were the Japanese Multinational Photography and Imaging Group. It influenced there to be bigger and better cameras and to improve throughout the years. In 1934, the events that happened were on June 27th, the Federal Savings and Loan Association created. And an impact of photography, an impact of photography would be that when the camera was created, that they can take pictures of it being efficient, or taken pictures of it being open. The color Polaroid. First fully automatic pack of film for Polaroid was the color film. In 1963, the first fully automatic color Polaroid came out. So this took place in 1963, and it was made by Edwin H. Land, and it influenced future technology by people were able to print out their photos right away and they had color. Then it developed into being able to print other colored pictures. In 1963, John F. Kennedy had his famous Ich bin in Berliner speech. This would have been good to photograph because then we could have pictures of, his, of this, him giving his speech. In 1985, the first autofocus SLR camera system was invented by Minolta, called Minolta Maxon 7000. Previous companies tried to manufacture autofocus cameras, but Minolta jumped the gun and made the first fully functional autofocus SLR camera. It soon became extremely popular and was one of the first autofocus cameras to be a staple for photographers. It took place in 1985, and it was invented by the company Minolta Cameras. The invention of this camera sparked new ideas for photographers and those developing them, because autofocus is something very useful to photographers, 
and therefore production increased and many more autofocus SLR cameras were developed. At the time, many tragic things took place, such as the Mexico City earthquake that killed more than 9,000 people. Photography could have had an impact on that because it could have been used to show the destruction and people in need of help. Also, at the time, children were shown starving in Africa almost daily on television. Photography definitely had an impact on this because without it, we wouldn't be able to capture those in need of help. Polaroid goes bankrupt because its brand new its, its brand and assets were sold off. It took place in 2001. For future technology, Polaroid taught others in the future what not to do when they start up a product. And when Land is the one who started Polaroid. At the time, it was 2001, and that's when 9-11 was happening, and if they would have continued to sell the cameras, people could have used them to take pictures of what was going on and get the picture back within minutes. The Canon EOS 5D was the first consumer-priced full-frame digital SLR with a 24 by 36 millimeter CMOS sensor for $3,000. It took place in 2005, and the company was Canon Optical Products. This influenced the production for more higher-quality cameras that are cheaper. During this time, Hurricane Katrina was around the Gulf of Mexico. Photography could have impact by impact that by people down south could have been using the Canon EOS to take pictures of the hurricane as it was occurring. This is the history of photography. The Civil War took place in 1861 through 1865. It was a hard time and we don't know everything about it to this day. Matthew Brady was the one person who taught us who taught outside the box to capture this time. During 1861 through 1865, the Civil War was going on, and the effect that, is, that it had on the world was very impactful. Photography is still new, and so not much was around. We we're very lucky to have gotten the pictures from the Civil War that we have today. We wouldn't be as informed as we are today if we didn't have the pictures from the war. Film is Center Paper, 1889. The first commercial transparent roll film perfected by George Eastman and his research chemist. The year starts in place with 1889. People involved with Eastman. The impact photography, photography had on the U.S. was that even when there was no photography, we spent more time with family and friends instead of taking pictures on our phone. Nowadays, since photography is invented, we spend we don't spend as much time as we do with family. Fiji Film, 1934. Film found Fiji Film founded by 1938. Fiji is making cameras and lenses in addition to film. Topic to place in 1934. People involved was Kodak. It influenced for the future technology by you can take pictures and print them off within minutes and you can be on the go and running your errands and doing family related things and you can print the pictures off immediately. It could have an impact on photography by people have been trying to stop them from bringing the Fiji film into action. The first camera with color, Kodachrome, was a film and Leopold Menes invented a Kodachrome. It is a color posi positive on 1936 in New York. Leopold Menes was helping to make the film Kodachrome for and for 20 years after quality, speed, and price, this became the most popular film. This in influenced new techniques for photojournalists like the magazine Life. The magazines could create new projects, articles, levels, colors, relationships, other feelings, emotions for photos and movies, more attention for communicate or transmit all you want and new effects. The Kodak camera was a new camera that came out in 1972 and a frame that was 13 by 17 millimeters. George Eastman created the new camera. Before that, he created the film that would go inside of it. The Kodak camera made the future of cameras a lot different. It allowed photographers easy access to cameras that were very lightweight and portable. It also captured memories at a click of a button. The Kodak camera made an impact on the society, but it allowed us the ability to capture memories with a click of a button. It hadn't happened, photography definitely wouldn't have been the same today. Photoshop was created to display grayscale images. The topic took place in 1987. The people involved were by two brothers, Thomas and John Knoll. The topic influenced for future technology influenced people to create pop art, merch projects, and cutouts. Photoshop influenced people to create color later in history to express more in an image. The camera phone came out in 2000. The camera phone was the first phone built with the building camera. The camera phone was manufactured by Samsung, Samsung Sharp in Japan. No one knows who the person is that invented the first camera, but the company is Samsung Sharp slash Sharp Corporation. The camera phone influenced the future of photography because people realized that having a phone that is able to do both is revolutionary. Oh. What was happening in the world was a new millennium. I think a new millennium influenced photography because people wanted realize they wanted something to have a way to take pictures of something they have in their everyday life. After the cease of the Kodak film camera in 2004, and the people involved were Steve Sanson, the inventor, and the vice president, uh, Don Stigerland. Uh, the future, what it influenced for the future was digital cameras. 
And what was happening in the U.S. during the Kodak film cease was that Kodak was going down and people were using Kodak as an example to make new, uh, easily carried products. Let's go. <laughs> so this is group three, and our researchers are Layla, Aiden, Jada, Kiera, Ethan, Lizzie, and Reese. And Layla is first. My topic is when photos became permanent. The photos became permanent so you could keep them forever. The year was 1826, and the people involved were neeps. And pictures were finally a thing that you were able to keep forever. Permanent photos had a big impact on photography because that was when we were finally able to keep photos forever. Next is Ethan. I mean, Aiden. <laughs> uh, explanation of the topic. Uh, Matthew Brady and his staff covered the Civil War. Uh, this was from the years 1861 to 1865. The people involved were Matthew Brady and his staff. Uh, this topic influenced many things. Influ this influenced photographers to, con to continue working at it because Matthew Brady went bankrupt taking these photographs. The Civil War had a big impact on photography. It gave Matthew Brady the idea to take so many photos of the war. Because Matthew Brady did this, we now have pictures of the Civil War. Next is me. The first commercial color film was made. The first commercial color film, the auto plates, was manufactured by the Lumiere brothers in France. The year of the topic was 1907. The Lumiere brothers were involved, and so was everybody in the world, because now the pictures don't have to be in black and white. The topic influenced the color on our... <laughs> and all the pictures we can print, now they can be in color. Small things like Adolf Hitler's mom dying in Oklahoma being admitted into the Union because these events are finally able to be documented in color. Next is Kiera. The explanation of the topic is Lewis Hine was hired by the U.S. National Child Labor Committee to take pictures of children working in mills. He wasn't always a photographer. He was a teacher before he went into photography. Hine shed light on a topic that no one was talking about, but he died, died in poverty. Now we recognize how big of an impact he made. This took place in 1909. Uh, Lewis Hine and the U.S. National Labor Committee were people involved. This influenced future technology by inspiring others to do the same in the future. The child labor that was going on around prompted Lewis Hine to be hired and do something to make an impact. He did make an impact, so this could go both ways. Next is Ethan. In 1972, one to four cameras were introduced by Kodak with a 13 by 7 millimeter frame. This took place in 1972. The explanation of the topic was that one to four my cameras were introduced by Kodak. The people involved were George Eastman and Henry Strong. In, one, in the 70s, the world was growing faster than it ever had before, technology-wise. The 110 camera by Kodak made it a lot easier to buy on affordable cameras. Next is Lizzie. Topic first, phone camera, explanation camera, phone introduced by Japan by phone, date 2000. The top, uh, the explanation, the first cell phone with a built-in camera was manufactured by Samsung and released in South Korea in June of 2000. Everybody takes photos now. <laughs> um, the impact of photography, this impacted photography because pretty much everyone uses their phone camera now. And last is Reese. In 2004, Kodak stopped producing the film camera. This took place in 2004. The people involved were the board of directors for Kodak, as well as its competitors who were shifting to digital. It influenced technology because it made Kodak's <laughs> competitors want to switch to digital to keep with the times. In 2004, technology was booming. The economy allowed for lots of technical innovation. The f this made film cameras obsolete. <laughs> Thanks, this is our presentation. I don't know how to make the little C go away. It's okay. Okay. My project was the camera obscura, or the dog in chamber. Um, the camera obscura was one of the first ways that people were taking pictures. And we have, it was the box. The box was kept kept the box kept getting smaller and smaller until it could fit into your pocket. It was modified to take pictures. People like Leonardo da Vinci used the camera obscura to paint 3D shapes in their work. This device helped make world famous art. art for everyone to enjoy. 
I did the first permanent image was created. The first permanent image was created by Joseph Napis with a camera obscura. He couldn't draw a centerpiece set of a camera obscura placed within it, a polished pewter plate. After an exposure of eight hours, the plate was removed, and the image of the view from the window was visible by washing it with a mixture of oil, of lavender, and white petroleum. People involved were Joseph Napis because he actually invented the permanent image. It influenced the future because people have used photographs to document things for years. The invention of the permanent image made it where you could permanently document anything. At the time, France was starting to evolve more, and the next photographer who took a permanent image photographed the streets of Paris with the buildings, carriages, and the people. I did child labor photography. Louis Hines photographed children in gold mines and meat packing houses and textile mills and in canneries. Hines believed that if people could see for themselves the abuse and injustice of child labor, they would demand laws to end those evils. The year was the year was 1909. The people involved, the person involved, was Louis Hines, and it helped to reform the child labor laws in the U.S. Um, I did the invention of color instant film, and the Polar color film was invented in 1963. Along with this, the Polaroid Land Camera 100 was the first camera to produce completely automatic exposure control, and that camera was the camera that the film was used inside of. Um, the Polaroid was the only camera that worked with this, this film. Um, the year it took place was 1963, and um, without this invention today, it is likely that we would not have colored photographs. Um, uh, in the U.S., photography could have had an impact on what was occurring at the time because the assassination of John F. Kennedy occurred, and photography captured the moment of tragedy and all of those following. Um, due to this, we n now have the ability to understand what the time period must have been like and what that exact moment must have been like that he was shot. Well, I did Photoshop. Was released. Photoshop 1.0 was officially released in February 1990. This is the first time the software was made available to the public as a standalone product. Photoshop 1.0 was released in the year 1990 to the public, only been used by specialists since the year 1987. The people involved were Thomas, Thomas and John Nall. They are the founders of Photoshop and Brothers. The release of Photoshop made it way easier for everyone to mess around with their images. The public can now do it at home with their own computer instead of having to spend thousands on high-tech equipment. Photoshop is still being used today by 10 million people. So, in 1990, The Simpsons were first aired. That could have been effective. What was Photoshopped? There was also a minor recession and impact to the whole world. This could have caused less people using Photoshop because they were focusing on making money and not going broke or into debt. Okay, mine is Kodak introduces Photo CD. Photo CD used a system designed by Kodak. It's taking photos on a CD or movies on images on a CD. And the year the topic took place is 1991 and 1992. The people know the company Kodak was involved, but a man named James Russell was looked at the topic. I feel that Photo CD influenced technology with the images being placed on a disc that came up with, I can't read the CD. The CD. And like putting them in films and other things. Okay. Kodak got very didn't impact the world, but because it was. Um, was a new color, 1.3 megapixel with a CD sensor, and that became popular as well. I did the camera phone. The JSH04 was the first mobile phone to feature a 110,000 pixel um, CMOS imager that allowed users to instantly um, email photos they take. It was sold through the Japanese carrier JPhone. Um, the JSH04 was released, was released in 2000 in Japan. The Sharp Corporation of JPhone invented the JSH04. There is no evidence of one person giving credit for this invention, but credit is given to the JPhone Corporation. This camera technology and a handheld device opened the doors for other companies such as Nokia and eventually Apple. This camera phone had an impact on photography because, as we see today, many people use their phones as their main camera. People also keep the majority of their photos on the phone. This was possible because of the invention of the J phone. Um, <clears throat> so, Polaroid goes bankrupt. 
Then Polaroid stopped making cameras in 2007 and discontinued the sale of Polaroid film. After 2009, the dismay of loyal consumers. This took place in 2001. People involved were Edwin H. Land. Um, this created a camera that and a Polaroid created a camera that couldn't easily be taken apart or repaired, and they controlled the market for the film. This influenced future technology because most of the world uses cameras every day. And Kayla did not do this slide. <laughs> The first permanent image was created by Joseph Nis for Nine Piece in 1826. The first photograph was taken from the upstairs window of Nine Piece's estate in the Burgundy region of France. When Joseph created a permanent image, many things became possible. He inspired the very idea of photography by doing so. In February 24th, 1826, the signing of the Treaty of Vienna marks the end of the First Burmese War. This would have affected him and affected and influenced him to create permanent images. My topic is about Matthew Brady photographing the Civil War. So Matthew Brady went to take photos of the American Civil War with a team of up to 20 photographers. Matthew and his team had taken over 6,000 photos of the Civil War, and Brady had felt so confident that the government would buy all of his photos, but they did not show interest in them, and Brady later declared bankruptcy. This topic took place between 1861 and 1865, and the people involved were about 20 staff that Brady had hired to help him, and the best known were Alexander Gardner, Timothy H. O'Sullivan, and James F. Gibson. Matthew Brady influenced the future of photography by showing the world that photos didn't have to be stage portraits, they could be photos of what is going on around us. During the time of this, a big thing that was going on in the U.S. was slavery, and photography had an impact on slavery similar to the stories of slavery, and photography had showed even more people uh, how bad slavery was, rather than them just hearing stories of it, they got an even bigger idea as to how bad it was. Um, my topic is first color film. The first commercial color film was made with autochrome plates manufactured by the Lumiere brothers. It was invented in 1907. The people involved were Louis Lumiere August, and August Lumiere. The topic influenced how color will be made in photos, how photos won't have to use the autochrome, how a camera can just take a picture and the photo would already be in color. Uh, the impact it had on photos is how the photos would just be in color. They wouldn't have to use autochrome plates, and the camera can take a photo and the color would be instant. Alright, the Nikon F camera was Nikon's first SLR camera or single lens reflex camera, and it was quite possibly the most advanced camera of its time because it combined a lot of different concepts from other cameras into one giant camera. Thank you. Uh, it was released in April 1959, and some people that were um, involved in the camera was the founder, Koyata Iwasaki, in 1917, and the company just expanded and expanded. Until they began releasing cameras. Um, the Nikon F was perfectly marketed by Joe Aaron Reich, um, which allowed the product to really catch fire in the camera market. The Nikon F pioneered the idea of making incredibly advanced cameras, um, which that wasn't really considered before that. Um, so, 1959 boasted a lot of different events, uh, including the thick of the space race with Russia, um, the admission of Alaska and Hawaii as the 49th and 50th states. Uh, and the arrival of Fidel Castro in Cuba. So these different events were um, easily photographable, and so that allowed the Nikon F to capture those great moments um, in a picture. The first phone to include a digital camera was made in Japan in 2000 under the company j -Bone. However, some arguments say it was actually sh like the company Sharp from South Korea, which is in the same year. But after the j -Phone's initial release, more camera phones are being sold than regular cameras. The original patent for a camera phone was workers or from workers at Kodak. The camera phone has evolved rapidly since its first release. Each phone that's getting released has better camera technology and brighter, more vibrant photos. Without the development of a high-functioning camera phone, hundreds of millions of less photos would be taken.
The impact from like this event on photography is that the human race is ever evolving. This had an impact on creating a camera phone, and the camera phone in turn had an influence on the bettering of camera and phones and general technology. My topic is about Polaroid going bankrupt. Polaroid filed for bankruptcy twice in between 2001 and 2009 due to the lack of financial footing. They went bankrupt in December 2001 to 2009. People involved are Peter, Peter Winsenberg, Dale Camera, and Scott Hardy. The handheld cameras are most popular due to the cameras on phone on phones, which makes it more convenient. The impact is new technology and new phones were being made, and because of that, people didn't use Polaroids as much because it's more convenient to use to use a phone to take to capture a picture instead of carrying around a camera. The camera obscura is a device in a shape of a box that lets the light through a small opening of, on one side and for air for the in the other. In the year of 17th century, people involved is Johnny's helper. The topic influenced this topic influenced to make more and better cameras with pictures that aren't still blurry. When the camera was made, it here. wasn't the best, so the next person knew what to do and not to do. When he was making the camera, so his or hers can be better. When the camera of her came out, all the pictures were extremely blurry and hard to see. What's that? Matthew Brady is also referred to as the father of photojournalism. Brady took many photos with the help of his employees of the battlefield camp life and photos of famous people like Abraham Lincoln and Robert E. Lee. When the Civil War started, he hired 20 employees and stationed them all throughout the war zones to capture the events and record what inspired. The years were 1861 and 1865. He worked alongside William Page and Samuel F. B. Morris to begin making the um how do you pronounce that? Dagger. Dagger type case, um, cases and frames. This influenced this future technology because people will now take the cameras into war so the picture. So there are pictures and we see what's going on. The world had an impact because we had pictures of wars and recordings of so everyone can see it. Kodak Brownie was a long-running popular series of inexpensive and simple cameras made by Eastwood and then introduced. It was introduced in the 1900s made in Rochester, New York. Eastwood Kodak was the main creator. It made photography a lot more popular and introduced many more things. Everyone was trying to make the new best thing. This was the new best thing at the time of the 1900s. It had a huge impact on photography by creating something new and also pushing more things forward in technology and photography to create more improved things. The false instant film developed by Edwin H. Wynn with the Polaroid. The year's topic took place was 1963. The people involved was Associate Howard Rogers. This topic influenced future technology because the Polaroid was the first instant camera where people could take pictures for, with color to it. The world can have an impact on how they see photography is more than taking pictures, that it can be exciting and insightful and meaningful on how you take the picture, that there is a story behind it and how it means to the artist who is taking the picture. Explanation of the topic. In 1985, the first autofocus camera was made, and it made taking pictures a lot easier. Years flat topic to place. It took place in 1985. People involved the Kanika Minolta company. The, what did the topic influence for future technology? Influ it influenced future technology by introducing autofocus cameras. The Minolta affected the world by making taking pictures a lot easier for the average person for the average person. Mm -hmm. With taking pictures being a lot easier, it allowed a lot of other things related to photography to change and become a lot easier, allowing more things to change for the better in photography. Adobe Photoshop. My topic is Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop has the ability to change and edit already taken photos. You can change the filter, the background, even the shape of the photo. 
My topic takes place in the 1990s and is still used to this day. Everyone uses it to have fun with pictures or make it make it look better if they like. The people involved were Thomas Knoll, John Knoll, Stephen Gutman, and Russell Brown. Um, I can't read that. Uh, it's in a way to grab it. It influenced how we looked at pictures and how we wanted to edit them. Uh, when Photoshop was created, it changed how photos could be seen. If we had that back in the Civil War, it could use as propaganda against the South and slavery to make slavery look so much worse. Many times could have been influenced or changed by Photoshop to make things look different. Mine was over Polaroid and the end of uh, film productions. Uh, the years took place between year 2000 2005. There's no definite year when Polaroid went out of business. Um, the main reason for Polaroid going out of business and ending their productions of film products was because uh, the technology is surpassing them and... The first autofocus camera came out, and then everything became digital, so it made it easier for the storing and access to the pictures. Instead of having to take a picture of the other picture to have a copy of it, they could now just store them and access them whenever. Uh, I researched Polaroid for my project in the U.S. Advancements. Technology has put Polaroid out of business. We had Canon who made a camera that could store everything within its own system and became an instant image and instant access device, which passed Polaroid because they were instant images at the time that they were um, a company that was in business. And if you wanted copies, you had to take pictures of the picture. Welcome to the History of Photography. I'm Matthew Gray, and the first set I'm going to be doing is on Henry Fox Talbot. I'm Riley Thompson, and the topic I'm doing is Civil War Images. I'm Carly Bunch, and I'm doing Dry Plates. I'm Maggie Ward, and I'm doing the Kodak Brownie Box. I'm Jacob Andrews, and I'm doing the first color film. I'm Jewel Fair, and I'm doing Fuji Film. Talbot creates uh, permanent negative images using paper soaked in silver chloride and fixed with a salt solution. The years it took place was 1837. People involved were Henry Fox Talbot. He was the first washer in nitrate of potassium ionide, forming silver ionide. So, silver ionide. The impact that Henry had on the world of photography in 1837 was that he had invented calotype, photographic engraving, and finally, photoglyphic engraving. And what this had in for an effect later on was that he was a photography pioneer boy who had also invented salt paper, calotype processes, procedures, and photographic process later on in the 19th and 20th century. Matthew Brady and his employees set out to take thousands of pictures during the Civil War. He ended up going into a bunch of debt and sold his pictures for $25,000. This happened in 1861 1865. Uh, the people involved were Matthew Brady, James Gibson, Alexander Gardner, and Timothy Sullivan. This does not really influence just technology, but it also influences the world history. Without this event, there would be no images showing the war, which is a large part of the world's history. All the advances in photography before this event helped take these photos. Also, if there were no advances in photography, there would be no photos at all. Our history could have not been seen since there would be no photos from the Civil War. Dry plates were glass plates coated with a gelatin emulsion, silver bromide. Dry plates, hence the name, which allowed photos to be taken and transported around, and then later the image could be developed in a dark room. They were also light sensitive. This took place in 1871. The people involved were Richard L. Maddox and George Eastman. Dry plates influenced roll film. Photography made an impact on the U.S. because the dry plates eventually led to roll film, which made photography a lot more simple. If there were no dry plates, we wouldn't know where we would be with photography in the world. Dry plates were very useful and impactful back then, that they are still used by some fine art photographers to bring out the details in photos. The Kodak Brownie Box was a roll film camera that was introduced to make taking photos easier. Eastman introduced it to be a low-priced, point-and-shoot, handheld camera for adults and kids to use. The cameras were so cheap and popular that over 100,000 cameras were purchased the first year it came out. This took place in 1900. Eastman Company introduced a low-priced camera. It made it easier for photo photographers to take photos on trips, and they could express themselves, and soon it became popular on the market. In the U.S., a lot of things can have a big impact on photography. The Kodak Brownie camera made a big impact because it was the first camera that was easy to use. It was cheap. It was a cheap camera that made it easy for kids to use and also made taking photos for the photographers an easy thing to do. So my topic was the first commercial color film, the auto frame plates. The first color film was created by the Lemire brothers. The brothers created the color film because they thought audiences would be more content and have more interest in still photography. So in 1907, they created the first color film called the auto frame. In 1907, in France, is when the topic took place. 
uh, the people involved were the Lemire brothers. What are the top influence for future technology? 30 years after the first autochrome was created, it was the most widely used process for capturing color. Today, around 100 years ago, since the invention, NGS has more than 15,000 glass plates in its archive. I think photography had an impact in lots of European countries, mainly in France, though, because many people bought the film and wanted to take pictures with color. Every image around that time was in color all over the world. In America, people would wear bright colors to show them off the pictures. Fujifilm was a company that made camera lenses and then later started making film. It started out in Japan as a photographic filmmaker. Uh, it was used in 1934. The people involved were the Daisyo Corporation and the x Rocks Corporation of North America. <clears throat> Fujifilm originally developed the film photography industries. Fujifilm had created businesses in multiple high-tech fields and become a technology-oriented company. I think photography had an influence on the U.S. in 1934, mainly because during that time, there was a lot going on, such as different events that people wanted to take pictures of. Fujifilm started as a film and then advanced into cameras so everyone could use it. This, is con this concludes the history of photography.
record your voice so I can hear something right now. So present. Um, I'll get to the next slide. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what do I say? You just read the slide. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um. Dragotypes. Explanation of topic. A dragotype is an image created on a silver plated on silver plated copper coated with silver iodine and developed in warm mercury. Years topic to place. 1837 through 1845. People involved. Louis Drager created dragotype. What did the topic influence for future technology? It's worth the idea of maybe you could produce multiple prints of this of an image rather than just one. And then I read the second one. Yeah. All right. There was a point in time where in the U.S. 40% of the country's currency, currency had been forged, and photography was to blame. For a time, oh, for a time, the ease of modification and duplication enabled a negative positive photography seemed to be a threat rather than a benefit, said Maisie Harris. Um, Autochrome was the first commercial color photography technique. The medium consists of a glass plate covered on one side with the spread of microscopic grains of potato starch. The grains act as filters as the light passes through the medium, allowing the, the colors seen in real life to be passed through onto the shape they resemble. Uh, manufactured in 1907 in France by August and Louis Lumiere. The creation of commercial color photography set the foundation for future photographers to refine their pictures now into color instead of black and white. At the time of this invention, World War I was about to begin. Magazines and newspapers would send photographers to take wartime photos. This period also happened to be the era of making, marking the end of the Wild West, possibly encouraging photographers to capture what was left of the time period. Uh, motorized airplanes also just been invented, so people wanted to see the creation. Okay, explanation. Lewis Hine hired U.S. National Child Labor Committee to photograph children working in mills. The topic took place in 1909. People involved was Lewis Hine in the Child Labor Committee. The topic influenced uh, future technology because Hine's work was often not allowed because while his time of photography was who used labor didn't want the conditions the children were working and to be shared. These photographs help influence and stop child labor. In the 1920s and early 1930s, Hein created a series of working portraits. These photos help capture the impact people made on modern industry. The photos taken of children working help bring light on the situation and actually help bring it to an end. In a lot of the photos that we're taking, you can see how much work the kids did and how difficult it was for them. A lot of the photos shown show the true stress they went through. Um. Farm Security Administration Explanation Topic A New Deal Agency created to combat rural pro poverty during the Great Depression in the United States. Um, it took place in 1935. People involved were Roy Stryker, Walker Evans, Dorothea Lang, Arthur Rothstein, and Robin Kushinak. <laughs> what did the topic influence for future technology? It helped show us what the Great Depression was like to future generations. I'm going to put pictures. The first camera on an iPhone. The first camera on a... Oh, it's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. No, we have to do it over again, Lindsay. Because you just talked. Why are these chairs so hot? <laughs> no, I'll just, I'll just restart it. Oh, my God. Please don't have to make us redo the whole thing. We have to. It's you fine. pointed... Your yeah. mouse came on screen. That's a start. Yeah, there's a thing that you can hear. Hold on. I think I know how to do it now. Is that what these things are for? Yeah. Okay. It's like a second monitor. William Box Talbot created pictures by placing leaves and leaves on paper, then shined the sun on it. Anna Atkins published a book of cryptocyte. German named Christian Schad experimented with the technique and called his work Shadographs. In 1901, Man Ray saw some of Schad's work and started some of his own exper experiments, which he called Ray Graphs. Years took place, 1921. People involved Christian Schad, William Box Talbot, and Man Ray is essential for communicating the wider message of moder modernism. 
Okay, in World War One, Man Ray used photograms to distract people from the war. The photogram also helped start modernization. Um, the first color incident film was developed by Edwin H. Land with the Polaroid. It took place in 1963, and the people involved were Edwin H. Land. Um, the Polaroid plowed much of the profits from the instant photography business goes off into high-resolution imaging and electronic imaging systems, using everything from computerized x-rays to tamper-proof automobile licenses. Polaroid's introduction to the mainstream started to displace these convention conventions by collapsing the production and consumption of photography into one action. Photoshop version 101 took place in 1990 by John Knoll and Thomas Snow. It was influ it influenced us with a powerful piece of software with an all-new application. Photoshop made a huge difference in photography and helped people create their own personal images. Editors and photographers could use their imagination and be as creative as they wanted. The first phone with a camera was invented in 2000. It was introduced in Japan by Sharp J Phone. The phone camera made it easier to snap a picture at any location. You didn't have to deal with processing the images. From 1990 to 2000, the U.S. population increased by 13.2%, which can increase the demand for cell phones with cameras. Microsoft violated antitrust laws, so more people may possibly buy the Japanese phones and stay away from Microsoft. I did a Canon EO 5D, and the topic of the place was 2005, and it was people involved with it, four Japanese people. And this influenced technology. It was supposed to be better because Canon did not like what they saw. And the photography is, yeah, is the art application of and practicing or creating durable images by recording light or color photography made form images as positive transparencies, which can be after a transition period centered around 1995 through 2005. Color film was recommended to a niche market by an expensive multi-megapixel digital camera.
Hello, so this is our History of Photography project, and um, in our group is Chase, Ali, Joshua, and Jordan. Hello, my name is Chase, and I'm, my topic is the first po photo that was put on paper. The year was 1816, and some French guy uh, invented technology that allowed photos to be put on paper using the camera obscura. It allowed photographs on paper, which revolutionized photography. In the bottom left, we have the French guy, the camera obscura, and the first po photo ever put on uh, paper. Some events that was happening was Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, which made people inspired to make more photographs. So I'm Ali Tudor, and my topic was the Farm Security Administration hiring Roy Stryker. So Stryker was hired by the Farm Security Administration as the head of the historical section, and he would hire renowned photographers to capture moments of the Great Depression, as well as the Dust Bowl. Um, of people in the hardest areas in the country. From 1935 to 1943, he worked to enhance the public's perception of the federal aid programs for the destitute. And he is responsible for some of the most famous and influential uh, photographs of all time. So this happened in 1935. And the people involved were Roy Stryker, Dorothea Lang, who was a, a photographer, Arthur Rothstein, who was also a photographer, and Walker Evans, who was also a photographer. And these photo photographers that were hired by Stryker um, created some of the most influential and memorable photos in our, of in our history because they really capture the hardships people had to live through during these hard times. So things that were happening during this time. So during this time, the Dust Bowl and the Great Depression were both in occurrence. And uh, basically, these pictures are basically the solution to this because the Dust Bowl, as well as the Great Depression, were both factors playing to make these pictures. So um, they really represent our history, and they give future generations a better understanding of how life was. I'm Josh, and uh, I researched the original release of Adobe Photoshop 1.0. Now, it all started when um, two brothers, Thomas and John Knoll, were developing in 1987. Now, Thomas began writing a program on his Macintosh Plus to display grayscale images on a monochrome display. This display caught the eye of his brother John, and John recommended that Thomas turn it into a full-fledged editing program. Soon after, Thomas took a six-month break in 1988 from his studies and collaborated with his brother on this program. This program ended up being the original Adobe Photoshop 1.0. They named the program Photoshop and made a deal with manufacturer Barney Scan to di distribute copies of the program. The years it took place was 1987 through 1988. People involved were Thomas and John Knoll, of course, and this release pretty much allowed for a whole new realm of editing your photos and what you considered art and ultimately made editing the possibilities of editing endless. What else is happening during this time, you may ask? Uh, well, they sold Adobe Photoshop 1.0, and this basically made, made it mainstream in a way. Editing, anyone could edit if they had some spare money to buy this program. And uh, they could transform their picture into basically anything they wanted to as long as they knew the program. It's a big advancement in what we consider art. Hello, my name is Jordan and I did the camera phone. It was uh, November 2002 before the U.S. adopted the crazy Japanese trend with the Sanvo SP SCP 5300 on sprint. It cost $400 and it featured a chunky slam shell design with a 0 0.3 megapixel capacity. The year was 2000. The people that were involved was Philip K. Uh, it helped develop the phone we have today and these are three pictures of what the camera phone looked like. Uh, what was happening during this time? The year 2000 was a controversial, I don't know, controversial one where people were panting about the Y2K disaster that never happened. This made photographers uh, photographs buildings that looked like they were a great disaster for the news. Thank you for listening to our presentation.